This video is going to teach you how to create a Google Calendar and then use it as your class website. So the first thing you'd like to do is head to google.com and you want to get yourself logged in. This means that you either already have a Gmail account or you have an account with some other Google product. It might be Google Drive, YouTube, um, Maps, whatever it may be. <clears throat> your account for your Gmail or your G Plus or whatever Gmail account you decide to use can also be used to access your calendar. So we're going to go to the top and click Calendar. If you don't see it there, you can click on More and it should appear in that list. For me, I use it often enough where it does appear at the top. You'll notice I have quite a few calendars along the side here. If I click the left box, that'll turn the calendar on or at least make it appear anyway. So I'm going to turn all of these off. The calendars are still accessible, okay, from, you know, who, if they're public, they'll be accessible by students or yourself. Um, but I'm just going to turn them off just so I see a blank slate here. And you're going to create a new calendar. Now, I always do this. If you click on the Create button, you're actually going to create an event in one of your calendars. To get a new calendar, we're going to go down here to this little pull-down and we're going to click on Create New Calendar. You can call it whatever you'd like. I'm going to call it Google Calendar Sample Video Description and all these are completely up to you. But if you want this as a class calendar, you'd like to click on Make This Calendar Public. So we're going to click that right here. And you can also invite people to have access to the calendar. So if you're sharing a course with someone, team teaching, whatever it may be, you can actually invite people to be able to make changes and manage sharing or just make changes and so forth. So once you're done that, we'll click Create. It says making your calendar public will make it visible to the world, including Google Search. That's fine. Once your calendar is created, you can then add your events on the dates. So there's a couple ways to do this. We can hit the Create button, or we can even just click on the date we'd like. So for example, if I want to do a lesson for tomorrow, I could click on that date, making sure that I pick the correct calendar out of the list is very important. So for example, I have some of my own personal calendars in here, for example, uh, or my, my uh, school hockey team calendar and so forth. So I want to make sure it's on the right calendar. And if I click Edit Event, in here I could put the title. So for example, if it's 4.2 and we're talking about partial variation or whatever I'd like to put in there, uh, the where is not so important, but more or less what we put in this description um, area is. So this is where you might put your uh, success criteria, um, maybe a description of the lesson, maybe a minds on, your action, consolidation, and anything else you'd like, links, etc. Okay, and we'll talk about how you can add links and how you can add um, documents and so forth to your calendar. So now that this is created, um, we're going to leave it as the privacy will be default. I don't really touch any of this information here. Everything's fine. I'll just click Save. You'll notice that that'll be on the calendar. Something very useful, if let's say you're, you're going to build off of a lesson, you want to do a lot of copying and pasting, you might want to click on that and you can actually go copy and you can copy it to that same calendar and simply change the date to the next day, so to the 25th. And when I click Save, you'll see that we have that same entry. I could quickly go back in there and I can make the edit. So maybe this might be 2 point, or sorry, 4.3, and I might talk about the slope of a line or whatever my section is. And then at least I have the information already sort of built in to the lesson, okay? So that I'm, I'm more or less just changing the details. And when I click, you'll see that we have those two there.